So today, I'm gonna share with you three baseball hitting drills to help solve three major issues in youth baseball today. These issues cause players to come around the baseball, hit ground balls, pop balls up, swing and miss, and just leave them very frustrated to the point where they're just not having fun in baseball. So if you watch it to the end of the video, these three drills that I'm gonna share with you will help you to hit more line drives, to be more consistent, to basically allow you to play to your full potential. With that said, if you're new here, I'm former MLB player Jermaine Curtis, and I help players hit the ball harder, farther, and more consistently. And over the last year, I've broken down the swing of over 500 baseball players across the nation. And what I'm gonna share with you is what I've seen through all those videos that have been sent to me. And for a very limited time, I am continuing to break down swings. So if you're struggling to hit for consistency or hit for power, link is below, and I'll break down your swing to tell you what steps you need to take to hit for more consistency or with more power. Out. Now, with that being said, let's jump into the content. Now, the first issue I see with a lot of youth baseball players is that they lunge on their front foot. Basically what happens is they start striding towards the pitcher and they move their upper body with their lower half. And this causes them to get off balance and then their swing becomes very inconsistent around the baseball and the result is they hit ground balls, they roll over, they pop balls up and they can't touch the pitch on the outer third of the plate. So this drill is going to help with that. But before we even go into that, I need to explain something. The lower half is super important. When I'm watching YouTube videos and you know, when I hear what everybody talks about, they talk about the swing, but the lower half is super important when it comes to hitting a baseball because the goal of a pitcher is to get your lower half off balance. If they get your lower half off balance, then your swing won't even work. Think of it like this. Your lower half is like a foundation of a home. If the foundation is unstable, then the home comes crashing down. So what we're trying to do as a hitter is to be as stable as we possibly can in our lower half, and that'll allow us to get you know, our A swing off more consistently. But if our lower half is you know, off balance as if you're lunging on your front foot, then your swing's going to be very, very inconsistent around the baseball and hit a lot of ground balls. So, with that being said, the drill that I recommend is called the Aaron Judge Drill. Now, I named it the Aaron Judge Drill because in modern times, he is the one that made it super famous. And his hitting coach, Teacher Man, as well made this famous. But it's a drill that I highly recommend you do to help you to stop lunging forward. And basically how it goes is this. You're going to get into your batting stance, okay? Get into your batting stance. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hang on this back leg. Okay, and then you're going to stride and then swing and hit the baseball. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel your glute, you're gonna feel your quad, you're gonna feel uh, you being stable on that back leg. See, a lot of kids, they go like this and they shift all their weight into this back leg. And you see how the inside of my back foot is starting to go like this? And then what happens is your body just wants to even out and so all the weight goes back onto this front. So. On, onto this foot. So what we want to do is we want to use this drill to keep us stable into that back leg and keep us from lunging forward. And it's going to make you more balanced and make you more stable when you hit the baseball, right? Because you're going to be more behind the baseball as opposed to taking your upper body with your lower half. So that's the first drill. And just to give you a little case study, one of the players you're seeing on the screen He's one of my kids in my online coaching program. And as you can see, when we first started working together, he was lunging on his front foot. All his weight would go into his front foot and it seemed like he was running away from his bat and that caused him to come around the baseball. But if you see on the right hand side, you'll see that now he's staying back. He's more balanced. You can see the weight in his lower half distributed pretty evenly so that allows him to get his swing more consistently off. And since we've been working together, he's been hammering the baseball in his tournaments and ultimately he's more confident than he ever has been before. Now, the next issue I see with youth baseball players today is that they cast. They drop their hands and they cast around the baseball, causing for a very long and inconsistent swing. And this swing causes players to hit ground balls, to roll over, to 
to uh, basically get a lot of weak contact because there's no power. They're not inside the baseball and it's not allowing them to uh, make consistent hard contact. So the drill that I recommend is a drill that I call it the sidewall drill. And it's uh, what I recommend when I you know, work with players who start casting out and around the baseball. And basically how this drill works is that you're going to set up in your batting stand but you're going to be to the side of it that's why it's called the side wall drill right so you're going to be in this position right here okay the t is going to be set out a little further out front and what i recommend is that you choke up a little bit because we don't want them to be all the way at the end and then they drop their hands and they just bang this wall right you want them to be choke up and do it slow at first. Maybe the first few you could do dry hacks where there's no ball or anything. So there's no ball here and they can just slowly do the whole process and go straight to the baseball without, um, you know, without being a ball there, right? So we want to first do it a few dry hats so they can feel what they're doing because I like to say if you can't do it slow, you're not going to be able to do it fast. So the dry hacks allow them to do it slow first, right? Then after they've got that, then you put a ball on here. And again, they sh they're here choked up. And what they're gonna do is, it's gonna force them to pull their hands inside their body, right? We wanna always work inside of our body. When you start casting, you're working around your body. It's like put a pull through your body and then the barrel goes out and around. You're almost spinning like a screw. And if you see the best hitters, what they do is they pull their hands in and then they go straight to the baseball and, uh, you know, hit it out front and they drive it. So that's what we want to do. We want to get into this position, which is a good launch position. And then we want to pull our hands in. OK, then we want to go to the baseball and drive through it. Right. And when you hit this ball, it should be going up the middle, middle away. And as they get comfortable with this drill, then you can start going more down. You can start going down here and work to the baseball right but it's going to really help them because it's going to give them a guide right if they start casting and their hands drop they're going to go boop hit this wall right so i would recommend you first do this outside do it in your backyard do it um at a baseball field at a fence and then as they get more comfortable and better at it you can go inside the garage you can do it inside the house with some wiffle balls but at that time the mechanics are starting to sync up and they're doing things right so this is a drill i highly recommend i recommend it to the player that you're seeing on the screen right now on the left hand side you can see that his hands drop and come around the baseball and this caused him to not hit the ball in the air at all to uh, the right side and he couldn't hit the ball in the air to the left side it was all grounders but you'll see now to the right side you'll see that he is short he's direct to it. he's working inside of his body and he's you know has a short swing that's allowing him now to hit more line drives and be more consistent and so with that being said let's go to the next drill now the next issue i see with a lot of young baseball players is that they struggle with timing. Timing seems to be a huge issue in youth baseball today, and I get it. It's because the fluctuation of pitching varies so much. One day you might see a pitcher throwing super slow, the next day he's throwing a little bit harder, then the following day you're seeing a fast pitcher. So it fluctuates so much at the youth baseball player, at the youth baseball level, as opposed to the professional level where most of all the guys are throwing 90 plus so you're getting ready to hit at the same time pretty much every single time so there's a huge fluctuation and this fluctuation is most of the reason why most hitters struggle in today's game their mechanics break down because they're just late or they're too early and then they move their lower half and then next thing you know their whole swing falls apart so the drill i recommend you is a starter drill and it's something i use with all my players whether i'm coaching them in person or online it's what i highly recommend you do just so that you can see what they're doing before you start throwing the baseball to them a lot of times when you're hitting and you're throwing bp you can't really see what they're doing but as a coach I'm able to see what they're doing before we start our drill and helping them to get more on time. So what this drill, what is this drill? Well, the drill is you're going to have the player get into their batting stand, right? You're going to have a tee set up and we're going to put this tee on the outer third. Now I like this tee just so I could just move it over 
to where it needs to be. I like to put it on the outer third of the plate, as you see right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a person on the mound, or you can be in your backyard uh, several feet away. I like to do it at the distance that normally they're going to hit in. And you're going to wind up like you're going to pitch the baseball, but you're not gonna throw it. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna get ready and they're gonna track the ball in visually. They're gonna imagine the ball coming in and then they're going to take their swing off the tee and drive it to the opposite field. So what that does is it slows their body down and allows them to start getting more on time, slow the game down. It's a great drill just to start out first before you go into batting practice. For example, the player you're seeing on the screen on the left, you'll see that he was super late. He was swinging at the point of when the ball was almost in the glove. And this caused him to be super frustrated. And I had his dad and his mom do this drill in my online coaching program. And you see on the right hand side, him hammering a baseball, crushing a double in the game. And it's just because he got used to seeing the ball come in visually, but more importantly, the parents could see when his front foot was getting down. A lot of times his front foot was getting down, the ball was like right here, super, super late. So had him do this drill and the parents imitated a pitcher throwing and they got to see when his front foot starts to get down. And my major league tip to you is that you want the front foot to get down about a quarter of the way when the pitcher releases the ball. And at latest halfway, at latest halfway to the plate. Any point past that becomes very, very hard for you to be consistent because it's just too late. The ball's gonna jump on you, right? So that would be you know, my last drill and a drill I highly recommend you do. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you're interested in taking that swing breakdown because you're struggling with maybe being consistent or you're lacking in power, link is below. With that being said, thank you guys so much. I'm former MLB player Jermaine Kirst and I enjoy giving you these three drills. Hope that you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.